we can go on having churches and still not affect the principality of the city. So I pray that God will empty some thrones that has been wrongly occupied by certain demons. Your spirit man should be speaking with God. When your spirit man is speaking with God, your natural man will be protected. And the longer you are connected to the presence of God, the more you will be disconnected from things that can bind you. You need to keep getting recharged so that the sin cannot touch you. World cannot touch you. Death cannot touch you. Demons cannot touch you. You got to keep the fire burning. I release that grace upon your children right now. Father, whatever was deposited in this meeting, Father, I pray that they will remain in this fire. Let this fire keep burning over and over again. So officially done with our conferences in Bangalore. I can't thank God enough for what he did. It has been an incredible journey beyond expectations. Again, <laughs> right now we are headed to Goa. We're having all the Aran pastors out of India, inside India, around, all coming together and for three days to just soak and see God and receive instructions and directions. So excited to see them all and it's a pleasure. I wish you a season's greetings. It's the month of December and with every season that changes, you cannot have success without preparation. And so on behalf of Revive Nations, we want to wish you a season of blossom. And we're just going to sing a song, an original song that is called This Is Blossom. Come on, help me clap your hands. This is Blossom. I hear Blossom. There's a Blossom in the Spirit. And I sing it. Come on, help me clap your hands. This is Blossom. I hear Blossom. There's a Blossom in the Spirit. And I sing and dance. God bless you, everyone. After all these years of living in India, this is the first time I've ever been to Goa and it has been a pleasant time. Our conferences uh, with our Revive Nations pastors and leaders was, has been very powerful. Goa in a way kind of reminds me of Kerala because of all the coconut trees. And our conferences come to an end this Saturday. The next day we'll be catching flight and onward back to Canada. This apparently is a fort that was uh, built by Portuguese.
getting some nice yummy corn to eat. Can't come all the way to India and not have the Indian experience. Corn on the street is fun. Stop acting. I'm acting, no. acting. Ow, ow, ow. You're a good actor, Muse. Okay. <clears throat> okay, if you give me if I give you a chocolate, will it work properly? Maybe. Okay, I'll give you a chocolate. Work properly now. Don't lie. No, I promise. <laughs> guy is uh, my voice I don't know if you can hear it I've almost lost it uh, there is no rest in India so off now to get some Indian breakfast and uh, take you with me <laughs>
And now <laughs> we are back to the winter wonderland. Until next time, stay under the mighty hand of God. God bless you.